Marine Le Pen won't do a Donald. In an age of Brexit and Trump, plenty of people are predicting that Marine Le Pen will become president of France this May. They present her as a breath of fresh air, another straight-talking populist who will return power to the people and make France great again. I've grown up listening to Le Pen's poisonous discourse and I'm not prepared to swallow the PR spin. Banding Brexit, Trump and Le Pen together is not only rash, but misguided. I predicted a Trump win because he had nationwide appeal. In contrast, Le Pen's power base is in small town councils. If anything, she's more like Hillary Clinton, she's been knocking around for decades and owes much of her career to nepotism. Beyond the media myth, let's consider these hard facts. Marine Le Pen can't win a parliamentary seat in France, despite years of trying. Her party, the Front National, currently has two MPs. This compares to 35 in 1986. She is not an outsider, but an immensely wealthy member of the Paris establishment. The truth is, the FN is a protest party. It often does well in first rounds and then collapses in the crucial second round. In 2002, FN founder Jean-Marie Le Pen was crushed in the second round of the presidential election. This was because of France's Republican pact, all kinds of voters systematically uniting to defeat a common enemy. In that case, a convicted racist, an anti-Semite. Despite a staged schism, Jean-Marie Le Pen remains honorary president and major funder of a party still steeped in a legacy of fascism. Crucially, Le Pen Sr. also remains Marine Le Pen's father. This is the single most important reason why the fantasy of the FN delivering a president of France in May will remain just that.